Hi, I'm Manish Bhargav. I'm product manager for Google's internationalization efforts. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Google's input tools. So first, Google input tools allow you to input in your own language. The various tools that are available are transliteration, virtual keyboards, and the input method editor. In addition, handwriting is enabled on Google's Chrome extension. So let me first start by talking about transliteration. So I'm uh, right now in Gmail. Google tools are enabled in Gmail, Drive, Translate, and a number of other Google products. In addition, there's a Chrome extension that can be used to input on any web property. So let me start by uh, composing an email in Gmail, and I'm going to show you the transliteration tool. Transliteration allows you to input phonetically using a keyboard, uh, phonetically mapped to the language that you're trying to do. So for example, I have enabled Hindi here, and I want to now type hello, which is namaste in Hindi. I'll start by typing N-A-M-A-S-T-E and just phonetically sounding it out. And notice the first option in the dropdown is namaste in, in Devanagari script. And I choose that. And then I'm able to enter the same information over and over again. So let's say if I want to ask, how are you? I would say, aap kaise ho? And that I would just use the as they sound in English. I'll type them in, aap kaise ho and the question mark so it's it's that straightforward you just use the mapping the good part is you do not need to remember any phonetic mapping transliteration is very flexible and it intelligently identifies the local characters that sound like your english alphabet string so let me now do that for arabic so let me change my input method to be transliteration in arabic and i want to type in same hello which is marhaba in Arabic. And notice it again showed me the first option as the right option in, in Arabic. That covers the transliteration aspect of input tools.